Hey everybody, with Earth Day right around the corner, I wanted to go ahead and share a few fun activities that you can do with your students to help them really understand the meaning behind Earth Day and why it's important to take care of our Earth. Before I dive into today's activities, I wanted to let you know that last year I went ahead and uploaded this Earth Day video right here, and the focus of that video was all about trees and their importance. So I shared some books that are great to read with kids and a free little tree craft that looks like this. So so this video itself is going to be pretty short. I'm going to run through the activities quickly and the theme will be recycling. So I'm going to link that other video at the end of this one and I'll also go ahead and drop it in the description. That way if you want to do some recycling activities and some tree activities, you can do them both. My name is Susan Jones and I love spending time here on YouTube sharing teaching tips and ideas with teachers just like you. I actually drop a new video every Thursday and Sunday so make sure you're subscribed to this channel and click that bell. That way you're notified of every new video I put up. Now let's get started. All right, to teach your students about recycling, there are three resources that I really like to use, so let me share those. The first is Brain Pop Jr. has a great video on reduce, reuse, and recycle. That looks like this right here, and you can find it over on Brain Pop Jr. Now, in terms of some great books, I really love this book right here. It is called What a Waste by Jess French, Trash Recycling and Protecting Our Planet. And this book is actually made with responsibly sourced materials and soy ink. Now, this book definitely shares a lot of information on each page, so I would not read the whole thing cover to cover in one sitting, but it goes through things about how to make an efficient home and single-use plastics and how we can go ahead and fix that. And also it has one whole page here from trash to treasure talking about reusing materials to make a more sustainable earth. That book is a Discovery Kids book, which is a brand that I really love. They create really informational books for kids. Now, another very easy book that I love is this one right here. This book is actually set up as a story where Mr. Jones is a teacher and he teaches the kids how to go ahead and separate trash for recycling. And he takes them on a class trip to a recycling plant so they can learn all about the value of recycling. I didn't look for what a waste, but that last book, Why Should I Recycle, is definitely available on YouTube. A bunch of different people have read it aloud, so if you are still teaching virtually, you can go ahead and find that read aloud there to use with your students. So those are a couple fun resources to teach students about reducing, reusing, and recycling, and now I want to share just a couple fun activities for recycling and reusing old things. All right, after you've taught your students what it means to reduce, reuse, and recycle, I like to use these fun activities with cereal boxes. Now, cereal boxes are something that many of your kids have at home. They are relatively cheap if you have some at home, and I would definitely, about a week before Earth Day, send home a little note and ask for any of those old recycled uh, cereal boxes you can gather from your class. You don't necessarily need one for each kid because you'll see what I'm gonna do with them. Now, once I have my hands on these cereal boxes, I will save some of them to create cereal box puzzles. Since so many of your kids are familiar with these different cereal boxes, they should be able to take the pieces and put them together to make their own puzzle. Here my son Theo is doing it with our box of kicks that we just finished last weekend. And another fun way to reuse these cereal boxes are to create class bookmarks. Now here are the two that my boys pick. This is obviously from Honey Nut Cheerios. This one was on the side of the box. My son Calvin wanted this one and Theo wanted the big huge one that was right on the front of the box. And they can just write their names on the back, which they haven't done yet, but they can write their names on there and keep these as little bookmarks for the rest of the year. Okay, and one last activity to end this video. I was actually just about getting started to create a reduce, reuse, and recycle little sort that I was going to have kids cut out little images and decide where to go. And in my starting that process, I thought there must be somebody else that has already created something similar. And luckily for me, luckily for you, there was. So Simply Kinder already has a free reduce, reuse, and recycle sort over on her blog. It looks like this, and I am going to link that down below. It is a great little sort after you've already gone ahead and read the books I told you about at the beginning and maybe watched a little video like that Brain Pop Junior one. I'm sure there's some other resources online on YouTube and other little kid-friendly videos that you could find as well. In fact, if you know of any, go ahead and drop them in the comments down below 
below. We can check those out. I'll try to remember to do a little research and drop some of my own down in the comments too. I always watch them first to make sure they are kid friendly, of course. But after you've done that, and maybe you've done some of the cereal box, those fun reusing activities, this would be a great way to see what students have learned and also clear up any misconceptions they may have about reducing, reusing, and recycling. So that is all I have for you today. Remember, I do have that other Earth Day video that has activities about trees. Usually when we were talking about Earth Day in the classroom, I would spend a little time all week long during my science or social studies block to really discuss the different different aspects of Earth Day and why it is important to us. As always, I do hope you enjoyed this video. Go ahead and give it a thumbs up so I know you liked it. Make sure you are subscribed to my channel and click that bell. That way you can see all my new videos. See you in the next one. Bye.